Hi, I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach, and today we are going to have some fun. I had a very unique opportunity presented to me. I just want to let you know where we are right now because it looks a lot different, right? We are actually at the B-Van plant where we make every single B-Van in the Thor Motor Coach lineup. And as we were out here today, we were getting ready to do a video on the Talaro. We have all four floor plans. We have every single color of exterior paint. What a neat opportunity we may not get again. So what do you say we dive right in to the latest Talaro floor plan, the all new 20J. This is going to have a pop top, an optional pop top. Now only two floor plans are going to have that optional sky bunk, the A and the J. So this is the J that does have the sky bunk. Let's just go ahead and open it up for you. You just unlock it and then you press up and now you have an excellent sleeping area. What's neat about the sky bunk option is a lot of people say, well, I have all this stuff, but where am I gonna store it? I don't need the sleeping place. A lot of people actually use the sky bunk for storage. Ingenious, right? But come on in, Tom. Let's take a look around here and show you the layout. We'll talk about all the tech and everything as we get to the end, but in the 20J, you have the seating area right here. You have this table that you can completely move to here, these seats swivel. You can adjust the height, you can get it out of the way. Perfect table for meals, for getting a little work done, for entertaining. If you need more room, we'll head into the back. I know we got stuff blowing around. Ideally, it's not the best weather day, but again, we don't get a lot of opportunities to show you every single floor plan in the entire lineup at the same time. So we're just gonna, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So you have your sofa here, roller shades, ventilation, these windows, they snap shut and then you just pull and open them, and then there's a screen you can take and move over. Uh, on a day like today, you're gonna get a lot of ventilation because you have windows in the back, you have a screen you can put up in the back, but while we're here, let's talk about more of the amenities inside the all-new 20J. Nice kitchen layout, this is gonna be campsite. Solid surface countertops, a lot of the features are going to be the same throughout the entire Talaro lineup. Nice sink in here, wireless charger, so you set your phone on here, you can charge your phone wirelessly, or if you need to plug in a device, you can simply pull that up, USB-C, USB-A, and a couple of 110 GFCI outlets. Right over here, two burner gas cooktop. It runs off of your propane, hit light, and now you have whatever it is you need to cook right here or right up top. You do have a microwave, works just like any other microwave. A couple of the models do have the convection microwave. The models without the sky bunk have the convection microwave. Fridge right down below, it's a 12 volt fridge, so make sure your 12 volt battery disconnect switch is on. Turn that on when you enter your motor home and keep it on the entire time. And we'll talk more about the reliable battery system because every single Tawaro is powered with lithium, the reliable battery system. We'll get into the specs after we get into the wet bath. So we're gonna have uh, a wet bath in here and we are gonna have cassette toilets and we're gonna have foot flush toilets with your traditional black tank. So I have, because there are so many floor plans, I have some notes here. I wanna make sure I get all the specs to you exactly right. So on your 20J, your fresh water is gonna be 25 gallons. This does have the cassette toilet, which is four and three quarters gallons. And then your gray water, which is gonna be your shower and your sink is gonna be 20 gallons. And so we'll, we'll show you how to empty the cassette toilet when you do our, our exterior tour. The uh, blue button down below allows water to go into the bowl, Little toilet paper holder, flip out sink, a light fan, medicine cabinet, shower, typical wet bath, and all of the Talaro floor plans do have a wet bath. Super large closet back here. Here's the screen for the back door you can put up for ventilation, or you can just use this as a hanging rod. The shelves are adjustable. And then we get into the highlight. This is, I always like to, this is like a little limousine for your passengers. This is the, the sky bunk for the ladder. It's just kind of strapped in right here for, for transport. But this folds into a sleeping area. You can sit people here for entertaining, for games, for meals, whatever it is you need. This table just locks down into place. 
love this. It is. It's a little, a little limousine. So if you are traveling, kids can ride back here. They have their own AC. Uh, 11,000 of BTU AC units across the board here. Speakers back here for the radio up front, reading lights, plenty of storage back here. It's a great layout. It is the 20J. This is the newest Talaro floor plan. We also have the A, the K, and the L to go through. So why don't we hit the next one? This is so exciting. Are you as geeked as I am? This is the 20L. One of the things that uh, they all have in common, the seats swivel, which is fantastic. I like to do it with the door open. And I do want to mention uh, on this particular one, uh, your OCCC is 2152. All of them are going to run 21 feet, one inch in length. Now, your OCCC is going to change depending on what floor plan you have and whether or not you have the Sky Punk, but it's all within a couple of hundred pounds of each other. Flip out table for outdoor entertaining, or when you are inside, check that out. Now, you have a space. Right here, there are plugs down below. You have 110s, USB-A ports, get a little work done here. And you can, no matter where you happen to be, because every single Talaro in the lineup is equipped with the Weingar Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. Through your favorite carrier or through Weingard, you can choose a data plan. You get that set up, you plug the card into the Weingard unit on top, Go through the login, the procedures online. We have a complete video on how to do that on our YouTube channel. Now you are a rolling hotspot. You can also use the wine guard as a Wi-Fi extender. So when you are boondocking and there is you know, a restaurant or a mall, whatever it is nearby, you can pull in that Wi-Fi signal. You can use that as well. When you are done, you just simply fold that right out of the way. Campside over here on the driver's side kitchen, uh, the, the driver's side kitchen, 12 volt fridge down below, convection microwave, Two burner gas cooktop, sink, solid surface countertop. Again, you have the wireless charging or you have the USB ports depending on your needs and a lot of storage from the front to the back. Beautiful techno form cabinets. Now this decor across the board is crisp linen and modern white cabinets here. Now these are techno form cabinets that you're gonna find. These are made in Italy. Techno form's been around since 1965. They specialize in the marine and RV industry. So they are going to be very lightweight. They're going to be very durable, nice soft closed hinges and all sorts of room up here to store whatever it is you need. Now the floor plan in here, you have this nice sleeping area, TV up there if you'd like to watch TV. So opposed couches here, but this also has the Froley sleep system underneath. So this makes into a comfortable bed, whether you want to take and make it two twin beds or you can pull out uh, down below, there is this metal uh, support system in the front and in the back. You pull it over, you lock it in, and then you adjust the cushions and you have a wall to wall sleeping area. You also have uh, headrests under here as well. So you can prop your head up, you can read, you have a reading light right here, the roller bl blinds for privacy speakers if you want a little music and again you have the nice screens the windows with the screen for ventilation up here the tables all store underneath the couches here and now this has a wet bath in the back maybe we go around tom and take a look at the wet bath this way and i'll walk you through all the exterior features as we walk through our other floor plans. Every single one is going to have a bike rack on back for you, real easy to use to so put your bikes on there. Just fold it down. You can take the entire thing off if you want. Uh, a ladder back here, we have one set up. We'll show you to climb onto your roof. 110, 12 volt water pump, light switch, and for the hose here, you can go ahead and wash off the bikes if you travel with pets. It's a great setup to have back here to keep all of those things clean. Now, this is going to be a foot flush toilet. This is going to be your more traditional black and gray tank. And when we get to our exterior tour, we'll show you uh, how, to, how to clean those out and drain them. Large closet in this rear bath. These doors shut, medicine cabinet, shower head. This curtain swivels around to keep the water in here. And yes, there are magnetic blinds you can put up on the windows but just a lot of closet space in here. This is gonna keep everything nice and dry. You can get up in there. You have a couple of drawers down below. So a lot of storage space in this rear bath model. You have a vent up above too. So this is going to be 
Your next one in line here, this is going to be our 20A. This does have the pop top. And as we come in here, this is a very popular floor plan. You have the great campsite kitchen. All the features are the same across uh, the board, again, with the exception of the convection microwave, and that depends on your floor plan. Driver's seats, you can sit two here. This table flips up, so for eating, getting work done, whatever it is you need, that's right here, and it stores out of the way. Seat belts here, you can fit two here. We'll talk about all your electronics on our way out. Midship bath in this. So this is going to be your cassette toilet. I also want to point out in here, you see this blue disc? That is part of the shower miser. And in every Talaro floor plan, you will find it. And here's what it does. And here's why it's so unique. Because when you are out there dry camping, the last thing you want to do is run out of space in your gray tank, right? So what the shower miser is going to do is take and make sure that only hot water is coming out of the shower if that's what you want. You heat it up using the Truma Eco Combi, which we will talk about. But once that hot water gets flowing, that blue disc will turn to a bluish grayish white color. Now you know the water is hot. You turn the little valve on the shower head here and only hot water will come out. So now you know, instead of sitting here going like this, waiting for the water to fill up, filling up your gray tank, it is hot water all the time and you will find that on every single Talaro floor plan. As we work our way into the sleeping area, what's nice about this, one, you have a lot of great storage back here. Down below, you can see that you do have your converter and you have your transfer switch. All the electronics are back here and easy to access. A lot of little storage cubbies back here, including a little place right under the bed. So you have little storage for little nooks and crannies for everything you need. And then you take and you fold this, you slide this across, then you slide the other cushion. Now you have a wall to wall sleeping area. So another great floor plan. We have one more to show you. We will work our way back around. All right, 20K in white. So that's one thing. So all colors are here. Silver, charcoal, and white. So we have them all here. They're all here for us today. As we take a look at our 20K, again, you can spin the seats around from right up front. You have this great table. Again, you sit here and this folds right up folds out and you're doing work here, eating there, here. Nice long sofa area. This also makes into your sleeping area. So a couple of options here, nice big sofa for watching TV or use it for whatever else you need to use it for. There's also a large area right here with wireless charging. Great kitchen. Now this has the most kitchen space in the Talar lineup because you have this little counter space here. That's great for prep area or storage area for dishes and cups and mugs and maybe a little coffee pot there. The wireless charging here as well. The two burner gas cooktop, the stove, convection microwave, a number of storage drawers in here. One, two, three, four down here, three here, three here, two over here, and you have your fridge up over here. And then again, you have your rear bath on this. So that is a look at uh, all of the uh, floor plans. I want to talk a little bit about the electronics. Let's start, let's start right here. This is the Truma Eco Combi. We talked about that. This is going to provide your Talaro with heat and hot water. It runs off your propane tank. Uh, the flashing furnace, uh, for flashing camper there is for your furnace. It goes from 40 to 86 degrees. This is for your vent fans. Let me go back one, just turn the knob, hit the center. You have off, you have eco, you have hot, you have boost. Boost is what you're gonna to wanna to use when you take a shower, take note. When you do that, this is 148 degrees. Hot's 144, eco's 140. On boost, you do turn off your furnace. Vent fans, timers, what's neat about this system is you can set a timer to turn on the hot water or the furnace at whatever time you choose. You just go into the timer, you set your time. So if you wake up at say eight in the morning, set it, now you have a hot shower at eight in the morning. 
These two controls here are going to be for your reliable battery system. There are two options here. This is set up for the 200 amp hour setup. You also have a 460 amp hour setup as well, depending on what your needs are. Now, both are going to be charged with a 170 amp under hood alternator, under hood generator, that is going to charge the batteries. You also have a 3000 watt pure sign inverter and a 160 amp charger. We just showed you that in the last one where the storage is. So two options when it comes to your reliable battery system and then you monitor with, depending on the system, either these two panels or uh, the large EasyView 5 panel on the 460 amp system. Over here, this is going to be your RapidCamp Plus. So we can start at the home screen. All your Talara 4 plans are gonna have this. Uh, let me shut this, get this, some of this wind out of the way here. It's like a wind tunnel as I knock myself into Tom. All right, so check your tanks, your lights, your climate, uh, lights on, lights off, your water pump on from here. You need your water pump on when you are dry camping, but not when you're hooked to city water and you can get into your climate settings from there. Next button down, water pump and tank heaters. So, yep, tank heater, so we get a little chilly weather camping out there. Next button down is for your awning. We'll, we'll, we will not be putting the awning out today because there are 30 mile per hour winds, but I will show you where you can connect it when we get outside. The thermostat is for your air conditioning. Again, the heat comes from your Truma Eco Combi. Light bulb, exactly what you would think. Lights and the slider means you can go ahead and dim those just by moving it. The lightning bolt, check your coach battery, your chassis battery, your propane tank, and Every Tolaro has 190 watts of solar charging. You can check it all out right from here. And the last button down are for the vent fans. You have one in the kitchen and one in the bath. Hard buttons down below because it's an Android tablet. And if you have an Android phone, you know when it turns on, it takes a couple of seconds. So if you don't want to wait, you can just press those buttons and turn all the lights on or off that way. And over here is where you can shortcut for your awning. Uh, you can also pair your phone from here as well because this has the cloud and what you can do when you're connected to here with the cloud, you can control your lights and climate no matter where you have happen to be and you can control all of the settings from outside as well so let's head outside talk about a couple of your exterior features on your Talaro so we'll just shut the door here to show you a few things up above is your awning you have the awning across the line up here now when you put that out and I wouldn't recommend putting it out on a day like today two ways that you can take and set that up. Once it's out, pull out the legs. You can set them on the campground or right here on the side of the van, you can take and connect it right here to the side of the van. So depending on how you want to set up your awning, you have that option across the board. Nice running boards to help you get inside. Tire pressure monitoring for you as well. We'll talk about the dash uh, once we work our way around. 110 volt outlets here. Make sure that you do have either shore power or you have uh, everything turned on, fired up for your reliable battery system here. Exterior propane connection, that is going to allow you to hook up a gas grill or a portable fire pit or anything that runs on propane, you can connect that right from here. Now, one thing I do wanna talk about is you'll notice that the, we have nice big windows because when we get these Ram ProMaster 3500 XT chassis, we get them from Ram with the windows in there. So you have a lot of nice natural light in there as well. Moving around back, we talked a little bike rack for you. Now the setups are gonna be a little bit different depending on whether or not you have the rear bath or the wet bath. This is the rear bath. Uh, you know, Hose, lights, water pump, 12 volt, 110, a little storage cubby below, just like the last one we showed you. Foot flush toilet over here, your vent fan, and you have a 3,500 pound hitch across the board. You know, while I have this, I do wanna talk about all of your capacity. So let me just pull up my cheat sheet. So I, I wanna make sure you have all the information here on your 20A, 27 gallons of fresh water, four and three quarter for your black, because it has a cassette toilet and 20 gray. Your 20K, again with the 27 fresh, 13 and a half black, 13 and a half gray. Your 20L, 27 on the fresh, 13 and a half black, 13 and a third gray. And on your 20J, 25 fresh, four and three quarters black because it's the cassette toilet and 20 gray. So those are all your capacities. Again, all those specs you can find on ThorMotorCoach.com. But let's walk around real quick and take a look at our 
hook up our connections and we'll hop into the cockpit here. You're going to get this great ladder on your Talaro. Magnet up top, really easy to store, it's collapsible. So if you want to get up there, this one does have the roof rack and you can get up there and you can put anything up there that you need. Over here, your puddle light. If you want to flush your tank, you can flush that right here. This is going to be your black tank. For the rear bath units, these do have uh, your black tank here. So this just screws off. You put your sewer hose on there and you run it into the campground and then you go ahead and pull your black tank and you pull your gray tank right there. Your sewer hose, conveniently, right here. So you get one included and it stores nice and easy right there. City fill for your water as well and uh, fresh water right there. As we move down, you have a low point drain, the exhaust for your Truma. Turn your propane on here. Again, you're going to need that on if you are going to use your e Truma Eco Combi or your exterior propane connection. 30 amp service. They all have 30 amps of service. You're going to want to be plugged in. When you're plugged in, this is going to actually take and charge your reliable batteries, whether or not your battery disconnect switch is on or off. And when you do plug in, make sure the breakers at the campsite are off before you plug in at the campsite. If you'd like cable for the TV, you can hook that up here. And if you'd like to order, uh, add additional solar panels, you can plug those in right here as well. Fuel fill. You don't need to open the door to fill your fuel. That goes right in here. And as we, you know what, let's, uh, Let's hit the cockpit here, Tom, since we're here, and then we'll hit the, hit the outside. All right, so as Tom comes on in, you know, and I'll walk around and open the door for you. Here you go, you get in here because Ram updated the electronics in here. And this has worked out really, really nice. I'm gonna shut this door here, maybe block some of that wind. So what Ram did was just go crazy with updating everything. This is so nice in here. So a quick spin around here, heated remote mirrors, you can bring those in. The top of the mirror, there's a little triangle. What's nice about that, that is blind spot warning. So when somebody's coming up in your blind spot, that will light up, which is great when you wanna make a lane change. Electronic parking brake, so you don't have the big handle here, you have an e-brake. Emergency start, you're gonna find that. So in the event that your chassis battery dies, you can use the lithium system to start your Talaro. Automatic lights, you have wipers, rain sensing wipers as well. It looks like we're about to get some rain, so these will automatically turn on when you have that in the A button here. Over here, a lot of controls for a number of different menus inside. You can adjust your safety settings. You have lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking, pedestrian protection, Bluetooth controls over here. Uh, this particular Talara we are in right here, this one has the adaptive cruise control. Uh, all your cruise control is set over here to control your radio volume and channels behind the steering wheel. There's a little toggle switch. The one over on your left changes your station and the one over here on the right changes the volume. Oh, one other feature I love is the speed uh, detection. So it will let you know what the speed limit is on any particular road that you're on, which is great when you're exploring new towns. Nine speed transmission tied into a Pentastar V6. And what's great about this is you're looking at 276 horsepower, 250 pound feet of torque for putting the hammer down. And this does scoot. This is a, this is a peppy little van tow haul mode on here as well. This has the wireless charging, so what's great is you can just pop your phone in there and then you can Bluetooth it to, you turn your direction uh, hazard lights right here next to your uh, lane departure locks and traction control. I just accidentally turned it on when I put my phone in there. Hard buttons for your climate control or you can control them right from the screen, home screen. All kinds of great information. You have navigation, have what's playing, media devices, Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, and because this has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can choose the RV navigation app that you want. Any sort of navigation app you like, you can use with your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And if your phone supports it, it will connect wirely, wirelessly because this is the all new U Connect 5, which is a great setup. So instead of using the hard buttons here, you have a, the comfort button is going to pull up your climate, navigation, hook up your phone, 
information about your vehicle as well. And you can get in here and adjust all sorts of bells and whistles, adjust your display, adjust some of the safety settings like emergency auto braking, traffic sign assist, drowsy driver alert. This even does a thing where if you take both hands off the wheel for a little bit, you're gonna get a warning and it will say both hands on the wheel. It wants you to stay safe. Blind spot alert, you can dial all that in. And then over here you have some apps you can check out like Alexa. How about that? So if you're out somewhere and uh, you know, you want some music from your playlist, you can go ahead and dial that in. Charging right here, USB-A, USB-C, all kinds of storage up above. These are the curtains for the back window that we were talking about for privacy. This also has a backup camera in here. So if you wanna take and turn that out at any point, it is real easy to do. All you have to do is just pop it up and away you go. You have the backup camera behind you. 12 volt port here, the chair swivel, cup holders down below. So a lot of storage in here. Let's go check out the last outside walk because this has the cassette toilet as I turn this off. All right, so your fresh water goes in here and yep, you do have a key so you can lock that right up. Again, you have your city fill. Your cassette toilet is in here so what you do is you just pull this out and then you walk this to whether it's a toilet or a dump station, Uns pull the cap out, unscrew this. There's a button to vent up above and you empty that, you rinse it out, lock it back up, easy. Puddle light is right here, exhaust for your Truman. Again, these connections are going to be the same. Extra solar if you want it is right here. Uh, cable TV, your 30 amp shore power and your propane on or off. So this is it. How cool was this? A luck, a lucky chance to look at all four Talaros, every floor plan, every color. If you want more information to dig deep, whether it's digging a little more into the lithium system, we just kind of told you you have two options. Want to learn what it's about, how to use it, head over to our YouTube channel. We have a great video on that, a walkthrough on Rapid Camp Plus as well. So more in-depth videos. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the entire Talara lineup. I appreciate you being with us and joining us out here at the B-Van Factory. And keep it right here, whatever social media platform you're watching it on, keep it here because you never know when we will be back with another video, whether it's from our studio down in Wakarusa or we happen to get lucky at one of the Thor Motor Coach plants. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve DeVal, and we will see you next time. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800-335-6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?